lovely fourth going. How are you guys today? I hope you guys are doing well. We're doing well. See her little foodies? I've been gone all day. My little poopsies. Mickey says, just... mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, guys. I need to put this down for a minute. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Hold on. I gotta put my glasses on. Y'all, these shits is so dirty. Shits is dirty, yo. Yo. So, I've been out all fucking day, right? Yo, it's been like shit up in this bitch. People be stanking. Stanking like shit. Like dead people, man. Smell like dead people, yo. Look. She ran away. She's like, bitch, you stank. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I had the shit, though, man. I've been having the shits all night. The bubble guts and everything. Like, oh, the fucking crampy diarrhea and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway. I've been out all day. I went out by myself. Y'all want to know what I'm starting to realize? Um, I was starting to realize, right, that I don't want no fucking friends. Because, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about me. I can't chill with no fake bitches, y'all. Like, I need some real ass bitches. Like, some real ass, down ass bitches. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not with none of that fake shit. And I think, sometimes you think people are your friends. Sometimes you think you got cool people that's gonna be there. Duh, duh, duh. Sometimes you think, like, you know, you got, like, a helping hand or somebody you can lean on. Bitch, ain't none of that shit here. Like... I have zero, nada, nothing. I don't have any friends at all. And it sucks, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes you do too much for people. Sometimes you, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you, I'm, I'm like too fucking nice. Like, I, I I give everything. Bella. Bella's trying to shit too, y'all. She got a part her in her bowl. Then go fucking shit. Just shit right there. I'll clean it up. Damn. Oh, I hate peeing. So, yeah, I went to the um, chiropractor today. I'm going to get back to that subject. I went to the chiropractor today. And I've never been to a chiropractor before. But I've been having, like, these uh, back issues, these back pains and shit. And, like, I had to do all this paperwork. I had to watch a video. I had to go and stand up on this fucking thing. I thought I was going to fall back. And he told me, like, he asked me some questions. And, uh... He, he told me right away he knew what it was. I have like a pinched nerve in my pelvic. And um, I have a pinched nerve in my lower back. And it's sciatica. Um, so he had to go with this little machine thing. And hit my back and shit. Hit my front and my pelvic bone and shit. And then the back where my butt is. And it's like tingling in my leg and stuff. Yo, what is you doing, Bella? What are you doing, mama? No, you gotta eat your food first. And you can go out there. Oh, y'all let me wipe my vagina and wipe my butthole because I need to fucking make this dog shut the fuck up. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I had to wipe myself and clean myself before I took a shot, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways. So, yeah, I got this, like, fucking sciatic shit going on. And he said it could have been from a slip or a fall and it's gotten worse because I waited, like, a month. And I had waited too long, so. Fuck myself up, y'all. Now I'm all freaking messed up and shit, and now I gotta go back to the goddamn doctor's office and shit. This fucking bed is nasty, yo. I hate this fucking bed. So yeah, back to what I was saying about fake ass people, fake ass friends, fake ass fucking family. Y'all, sometimes we're just better off alone and by ourselves, you know? It's better that way. I'm starting to realize that I'm more happier. We don't have to worry about drama and bullshit. And, you know, there are very few people that that I get along with and shit. You know, that I actually like. But I could rewrite through this fucking bullshit. You know, so many people just let you down in your life. You start to realize I lost this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one. That one wasn't loyal. That one wasn't honest. That one wasn't true. They weren't true to me. They weren't true. To how they felt. They lied about how they felt. They lied about all kind of shit, you know. 
And that's that's one thing I don't like. I don't tolerate. Like me as a person, I know what kind of person I want to be. I'm that person, and I yo, anybody that has met me and has gotten close to me will tell you, she's that person that I never could find nobody else like her. I could never find another friend like her because she don't she don't lie about how she feels. I lay it out there. I let it be known. I don't fuck around. I don't beat around a bush with shit. I don't sugarcoat shit. Like. Like, if, if I if I don't like you, I'm going to tell you I don't fucking like you. If I got a problem with you, I'll tell you I got a fucking problem with you. And, you know, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you hard. But it's just so hard, you know, when you, when you do put yourself out there for people to really see you, for you. If you're really being, like, yourself and you're genuinely a really fucking nice person. And you're really, really honest about things and it fucking backfires and just fucking blow smoke all in your face and shit, you know? You catch on fire and shit, you burn alive. That's what fucking hurts. That's what sucks. So I'm kind of, like, afraid to even put anything else into anyone else. Like, the effort, I'm done. Like, I'm done trying. I don't, I don't trust nobody. Let me tell y'all something about me. I don't trust anyone. I don't trust my own mother. I don't trust my own mom. I don't trust anyone. It's only me, Bella, B, Precious, and God. That is it. I chose them. They love me. I get mad at them. They still love me. You know? So we're equal. I had to get a goddamn dog. Which they are my family, my family, they are my children, because I don't have kids, and life can be very, very lonely when you don't have children, and you're not married or any of that. So, I, I, I put a lot of time, time into myself, you know, like, even though I'm by myself a lot of times, even though I don't have any friends, even though I'm not close to my family, even though I can't trust the motherfucking soul on this planet, but myself. I love myself to death do me part. I trust myself with everything I have. And I tried to, I had to rebuild myself all over again from everybody that have fucked me over and fucking broke me down and just killed my soul. They took a piece of my soul. Every person that has taken a piece of my soul and fucking ran with it and just didn't give a fuck about me the way I give a fuck about them and they disrespect me for no reason um I only care I'm, it's only me you know <whistles> shut up before I throw you outside with the goddamn cold wind here you be fucking crying I'll give you something to cry about Bella you shut up stop it yeah so she be getting my fucking nerves. That's why you don't be going with me when I be going places. You be staying the fuck home because you don't know how to act in public. And you be fucking screaming. Yay! That's what she did the other fucking day when I came out. And everybody was fucking looking. <sighs> Hold on. I need to get this. Come here. Come here, Belle. You try to fucking tell her to come here. She don't want to come here. Come here. Come here, mamacita. Babacita. Come here. Come here, baby. That's why I don't fucking hold you. You gotta go shit. Go. Hold on, guys. I gotta fucking let her. I gotta let her out because she gotta go shit. Go. I'm trying to do this shit. Be right out. So, anyways. I haven't been home all day. But, yeah, I'm just... I'm just done with everything. I'm done with this whole environment around me. I'm very aware of my surroundings. I don't let nobody in my fucking life no more. I don't have no friends. I don't have, I don't have any enemies. I forgive anybody that has wronged me, who has fucking disrespected me and done the dumbest shit ever. But ain't no second chances over here no more. Because when you get second chances, people tend to just fuck you over and they don't care no more. So it just sucks, y'all. Being hurt over and over and over and over repeatedly, it does something to you inside. It does something to your heart, to your soul, to your mind. To your body. To you as just a whole, you know? 
and it's like you gotta heal yourself you gotta take time I take a lot a lot a lot of time to heal myself and I don't want to I don't take it out on like substance abuse or overeating anymore like now I'm to that point in my life where even though there's so much negativity that is surrounding me I still like I still think positive I still pray um I, I fucking I pray I think positive I wish for the best I expect the best even if it ain't I thank God every day for everything that I have. Everything I have is a blessing because every morning that I can open my fucking eyes and I can breathe and I can wake up and I can walk, it's a fucking blessing. Like, don't be, you know, don't be fucking greedy and fucking unkind and fucking negative, you know? Don't be ungrateful for shit because every day is a fucking blessing. Even though I'm a medicated ass bitch, even though I'm medicated, I'm still fucking happy. Like, I still am so happy. Even though my fucking house is a, a train wreck, like, a fucking hurricane hit it. I am a happy person. And when you let go of all the negative bullshit in your life, you'll, you'll see the light will be there. And everybody that has fucking hurt you and done whatever, you forgive them. Because if you can't forgive somebody in your heart, and you hold on to that negative shit that they fucking did to you, then it's never going to be right. They're never going to get their karma. They're never going to feel it, you know? So, yeah. I'm just that person that I, I, I want. Like, I want to be that everything that everybody's not, you know? Like, I want to be like, I want to be like that nice, honest, respectful, happy, smiley. You know what I mean? Even though I don't feel good half the time or I feel like I'm near, near death, I still have to... I'll fucking go out with a smile on my fucking face. I don't care. Even though I have so many goddamn problems in my life, I still am so thankful. Because there's so many people that aren't, you know? There's so many people that... That just ain't real so many people that just aren't like fucking genuine you know what I mean they don't have soul and fortunately I do people because of the people that I've surrounded myself with I still have something left in me to that I could be you know I'm a real person if I wasn't real I wouldn't be coming out here pooping and fucking farting and burping and don't care how I look, you know, I could look fat as shit on some days. I could look ugly and have a fucking worse fucking skin and piece of face and I don't care, you know, like what the fuck are you who are you to judge me? Like you're just a human, you're just a person, you're physical. Now if God told me, Leslie, your face look like a pizza bitch, you need to fucking you know, then I'ma listen, then I'ma care. That's the only one that can judge me and only one that could tell me if I look right or not. Any other choice is my own. You know, whatever makes me happy. Because I'm, I'm, that's, I have to make myself happy because nobody else will. And I don't rely on anybody else. I don't trust anybody else. And I don't let nobody else in. Very few people that are in my life have been in my life for 10 plus years. And those are the only people that are staying. And some may be family, some may not be family. Maybe people I met from out of state that I just, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But it's just the my surroundings. I'm just like, you know, it's a beautiful place. It's, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place, but there's like not much opportunity here. There's not much going on here, and I just been thinking doing a lot of thinking lately like what would I really miss? What if I was to just pick up and leave tonight, tomorrow? What would I really be missing? What would I really miss? How much would I lose out on if I was to leave I'm just like I don't have kids I don't I'm not married I don't have anything holding me back I don't have friends I don't have a lot of family that I talk to so it wouldn't be doing me any harm to myself for you know going so I'm just 
I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a lot, guys. Like, you know, and I, I kind of find myself like just saying a lot of things that I do is like things that I used to do. I'm like, you know what? I can go back to that life. I seriously, I can move back to the East Coast. I seriously miss it. I can go back and I can continue to do the things that I love doing because the same shit I do here is the same shit I did there. Only I love the environment there. I love the people there. I loved everything there. Like it was just so much more that I just, you know, had and that I'm missing out on, I feel. And here I'm just, there's nothing that I'm missing out on. It's kind of depressing, you know, like I'm going to do what makes me happy though. So, then at the end of the day, don't rely on others. That's what the whole point of this video is. Do not rely on others. You got to do what's best for you. And only you can make you happy. And only you can take care of you. Because nobody else, you, you can't, they're, they're not dependable. You cannot, very, very few that you can depend on, you know, other than that, you just, at the end of the day, it's always just you, you know, it's just yourself, count on yourself, y'all, I'm telling you, you're gonna realize that, you know, when you realize how many people out there will take you for granted, how many people out there don't care about you, and they will ignore you, they will shit on you, they will fucking not even give two fucks about you, and even though you may have poured everything out, and gave them everything, gave them more than what they giving you. You know, they don't deserve second chances. There's people out there that do not deserve second chances. You know, like me being vulnerable and naive. Then, I see now, like, like, uh, how sad, man. Like, how sad for somebody so nice and kind and giving and just wants to share everything. And You know what I mean? That just really, really, like, cares like, why would you do that to someone that just, that's not like you, you know? Like, that that's too sweet for people. Like, honestly, like, there's people that are out there that are too sweet for you. Too sweet for somebody. And it's just crazy. So, yeah. I hope you guys got something out of this video. But... Look at my pink ass socks, y'all. Look at my dirty ass background. Look at my dirty ass socks. Because I've been walking on the floor. <sighs> my house is filthy, though. I just got home, like, 30 minutes ago. And then, like, my cousin fucking talking on the damn phone. Like, I'm gonna, I feel like slapping the shit out of her. If you're watching this, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Because whenever we go somewhere, you want to go somewhere, we go out. Like, she's talking on a goddamn phone the whole time. It's so rude. Like... When you're with somebody, you talk to them. Like, it's cool to text, but don't constantly be on a fucking phone like this. Shit is rude as fuck. Like, there's a time and place for that shit. Like, you with somebody, you talk with that person. You don't fucking talk with everybody else, you know what I mean? Like, you, whoever you're chilling with, you chilling with them. You talk to them. When you home, that's when you make bust out the phone make all the phone calls and shit. Sometimes we can't say that, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that, I can't tell people because then they get fucking mad when you tell them what they're doing wrong. Like, can't you fucking see that? Like, people don't have common sense. I'm a person, I, I, I'm a fucking people watcher. I observe shit. I watch everything. When I see somebody doing something that should be common sense, then you should know, I'll fucking call them out and I'll fucking tell them. And it's just like... Damn, they get mad because it's like they don't fucking like it. And their way of thinking, their way of living is just so much fucking... It's messy. Like, it's like they don't care. And I learned from that. Like, I don't want to be disrespectful to another person by, like, being... Doing other shit, you know? I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go because I'm just rambling on. And I just wanted to make a video for you and let you know where my mind's at and what I've been up to and... Just been busy and doctor's appointments and refilling medications and going out by myself. You know, this is a way, whole new way of life for me. And I'm seriously thinking I may be leaving soon. I might go move back to the East Coast. 
I need to find a really nice place. If any of you live on the East Coast, let me know of some nice places that are affordable. Because you all know the East Coast is fucking expensive as fuck, especially in New York. So, you guys let me know. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. God bless you.